Welcome to this very special event. My name is Julie Strelo, and I'm the chair of the undergraduate nursing program. On behalf of the College of St. Benedict, St. John's University, 
and the nursing department, I extend a warm Benedictine welcome to all guests. This indeed has been a long awaited day and we are grateful that you can come and celebrate with us. I would like to welcome Sister Sharon Noner to the podium. She is the director of CSV Campus Ministry and she'll lead us in our opening prayer. And we pray. God of mercy and compassion, we gather today to pray and bless this class of 2021, nurses of the College of St. Benedict and St. John's University. They have worked diligently over these past years to learn the skills of caring for the sick and the firmed among us. St. Benedict in his rule instructs that care of the sick must rank above and before all else so that they may truly be served as Christ. For he said, I was sick and you visited me. And what you did for one of these least among you, you did for me. May our time of prayer and celebration today strengthen these new nurses as they prepare to practice the arts of healing the sick and prevention of disease and pain. We pray this through Christ who lived on this earth, healing the sick and showing love and compassion to all. Amen. Thank you, Sister Sharon. I also want to take this opportunity to recognize the nursing faculty and their countless hours of guidance and support that they provide to the nursing students. They are an exceptional group of nurse educators. Jody Berndt, Vicki Grove, Carrie Braun, Georgie Hoganson, Carrie Hoover, Nicole Lang, Michelle Larson, Nikki Ladenbach, Janet Newworth, Kathy Oman, Jennifer Peterson, Luann Reif, and Kelly Wordelman. Two of these outstanding faculty are retiring at the end of the semester. Thank you, Luann and Janet, for your years of service to the nursing students and to the CSB SJU community. You will be dearly missed and in our hearts and minds forever. I would also like to thank and recognize Deb Balloon, our office manager. I am sure that the students will confirm that without Deb, the department could not function. When they are admitted as um, sophomores, we tell them never delete an email from Deb. And so I think that they have a little folder in their email that says Deb, and that's where they store all of the information that comes from her. This year, the nursing class of 2021 selected Jenna Paulson as the student speaker for the class. Jenna is from Invergrove Heights, Minnesota, and she's planning to pursue a position on a cardiac progressive care unit at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester. Please join me in welcoming Jenna to the podium. Oh, is this on? Yes, yes. Sweet, hello everybody. And thank you, Julie. First off, congratulations to my fellow nursing class. It is quite an honor to celebrate this incredible student body alongside our faculty and our family. Today is a great day. As I look around my nursing peers, I recognize the individual tenacity and brilliance of each one of you. I see a family of 53 nursing students and a marvelous set of educators that have bonded together to make this day possible. But we did not start out this way. We were once chemistry students struggling and running over to the late night tutoring sessions. We were the pretend microbiologist, gram staining bacteria from petri dishes, horrified of incorrectly naming our microbes. We were the students borrowing skulls to memorize the human anatomy 
and making songs to remember and remaster the origin and insertion of muscles. Little did we know what we would become in these few short years as family and as individuals. Over these next few years, we would become professional nursing students ready to enter our, our vocation and we would thrive. But let's take a stroll down memory lane where it all started. At the beginning of nursing school, our panel of amazing professors greeted us. They stood in front of us with our eager, youthful faces and welcomed us to nursing school. And today, we're being welcomed into that nursing profession. But on that first day of nursing school, the professors prophesied who we would become. In nursing school and in your nursing career, you will wear different hats. You will embody a teacher at times, a listener, an advocate, a social worker, a nutritionist, and a professional Jeopardy player, which that one might be only for nursing school, but Alex makes an, or Janet makes an excellent Alex Trebek. <laughs> but this idea of wearing many, nurse, many hats stuck with me, and it honestly frightened me. I barely knew how to be a nursing student as I just survived the Hunger Games that was getting into this accredited program. Let alone, I couldn't imagine stepping into these holistic roles as a student nurse. But as we re reflect, we can pinpoint the moments we stepped into these roles. But what we did not know was that over these next three years, we would handcraft our own metaphorical hat, our own role specific to this nursing program that we would carry with us. And this hat would be only one that we could wear. We stitched it with love, tears, laughs, Quizlets, and plenty of energy drinks from the park. Now this hat that we've created exemplifies the characteristics that we have gathered in our time at St. Ben's and St. John's. Yes, go Merces. The first part of this hat embodies commitment. Each one of us are very dedicated individuals. In our first semester, we wore our scrubs all around campus, all the time, and I mean everywhere. We were dedicated to advertising this new identity as new nursing students. We were committed to taking the elevator instead of the stairs because we all know that journey to the fourth floor of Maine is a little daunting at times. But truthfully, we stitched committed into our hat when we finished nursing school during a pandemic. When we bundled in 10 layers to administer flu shots through a drive through clinic in our community when we said no to the fun plans, or I can't, I have to study. And when our department seamlessly created simulations to obtain clinical hours and dedicated an entire weekend to our learning. And yes, we completed all of that on a St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> we are committed. Our hat also embodies curiosity. As we would stroll through the library, we would look at other nursing majors. What are they studying? Oh my gosh, should I be studying? Did I miss an assignment? We were curious if we had the disease from class and if everyone else nearly failed that ATI practice exam. But jokes aside, our class has an innate desire to learn and challenge the status quo. Even in this last semester, I witnessed my peers cultivate quality improvement projects, questioning vaccine hesitancy solutions, pressure ulcer prevention strategies, and pain management strategies in our healthcare systems. Our class looked to exploit injustices and worked as a cohesive whole to analyze ethical dilemmas. We remained inquisitive to our environment and longed for solutions to old problems. We are curious. Now, the act of caring is also sewn into this hat. We care about our patients, our family, and our friends, and we do care a lot. We care so much that we would almost break down an apartment door to make sure no one would miss clinical. We would wheelchair a veteran through the hallway maze that was the St. Cloud VA just to hear a story of their war and offer a listening ear. We instinctively jumped in to hold a laboring mom's hand and gave the first patient or gave our first new patient the first bath. Ultimately, our professors have shown us how to holistically care through genuinely caring about us. We care. Now, one of my favorite traits in this hat is our outstanding ability to have fun. Whether that's Michaela running down a bedside commode to win Jody's lockbox competition, or Carrie Braun playing TikToks to try to engage us in pharmacology. 
or reciting sepsis bundles like it was a national anthem. We can be human and we can laugh, and that makes you each a pleasure. We truly have fun. Now, I could go on and on about how compassionate and how resilient we are and how we embody the values of Benedictine values. But I also want to emphasize how good we look in our metaphorical hat. Yes, we look good. And I'm aware of all the amazing qualities that I have missed and the plenty of other roles that we have acquired. But I want to emphasize that you have the power to put on this hat every day. Utilize it and rely on the community that wears the same one. Forever, this hat bonds us together and provides you with support when you need it most. Wear it proudly. To our hat makers, our professors, we cannot thank you enough. You have shown what true resilience through adversity looks like. You have sacrificed time. And of course, I'm gonna mess up here. You have sacrificed time to, to mold intelligent, strong-willed and empathetic nurses just like yourself. When we couldn't understand how to take a manual blood pressure, you flipped around our stethoscope so we could hear. And when we got pulled from the hospitals just after touring units, you were there to find solutions. And when internships got canceled and we were running around with chickens with their head cut off, you were our Mother Teresa. But most of the time, you were just our moms. To our family and to our friends who have witnessed and wiped many tears from our faces, thank you. You have encouraged and supported us through this unprecedented journey. When COVID started, many of you welcomed us back home and you had slower internet speeds because of it. And although a strange year, you have remained consistent. You are the backbone for us nurses, the silent caretakers for the caretakers. We love you and we cannot express the gratitude for your partner nursing career. Now, we are at the end of our time and stepping ahead into bright careers. And just thinking about our class, I picture pediatric nurses, neurology caretakers, and geriatric healers. I picture future nurse practitioners and public health advocates. I see transformational leaders innovating and inspiring change for the better of our patients. I envision cardiac and emergency department nurses thriving amidst the chaos. And I also see a very tall nurse breaking his back for not raising the, the bed. But that just might be Thomas Hoover. Sorry, Thomas. <laughs> but I am very excited to witness the journey that you are all destined for and the one that you are prepared for, the one that you will start in just a few months. I want to take this time to remind you of why you wanted to be a nurse. For some, it was a natural calling, following a familial legacy of nurses. But for others, it was giving back to the profession that gave to them. But for all of us, it was the unanimous and conscious decision to care for others, to advocate passionately for the health of those who cannot have their autonomy. And this is where we step in. I challenge you to remember this very reason. When your shift seems seemingly impossible, I urge you to put on your hat. Reflect on your reason and remember how proud you were to make it into this program. Remember how excited you were on the first day of clinical, walking into the hospital, white knuckling your stethoscope. Reflect on your first patient and remember the time you made a real difference. Saturate these moments when patients taught you a lesson and stitch all of these memories into your hat and wear this hat into every patient room after hand hygiene, of course. Now to end, I wanna quote one of my favorite sayings by Ralph Waldo Emerson. What lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters to compared to what lie within us. What you have intrinsically within you will carry you and never forget your Benny and Johnny roots. Nursing class of 2021, congratulations. And please, may your career be just as great as you are. Thank you, Jenna. Today, we officially welcome these 53 young men and women to the nursing profession as colleagues. They have worked hard developing the knowledge and skills needed to provide quality, holistic, and compassionate care in the context of Catholic and Benedictine traditions. <clears throat> nursing graduates wearing the pin 
you will receive today will serve as a symbol of your nursing education here at St. Ben St. John's. You will encounter other nurses wearing the same pin, sharing the history and traditions of these two institutions. The design features of the pin include a shield, a torch, a cross, and a banner. The significance of each of these features is described in your program. The nursing students will now receive their pins and a blessing of the hands. We will announce the name of each student as they come forward to receive their pin and blessing. Nicole Lang, Georgia Hoganson, and Luann Reif will assist with the presentation of the students. Sister Sharon will now pray a blessing over the oil. This is the oil that we will use to bless the nurses' hands after they have received their pin. Good and gracious God, bless this oil that we will use to anoint the hands of these graduating nurses. May this oil be used in healing and soothing the body, also be used as a consecration to the ministry of healing that these nurses have committed their life to. Through this blessing, may they receive the strength to be present in time of illness and distress as they care for their patients and are present to their families. We ask this through Christ, the divine Redeemer and Healer. Amen. Teresa Amaral. Paige Andrews. Consecrate these hands so that they bring healing and compassion to the whole who care for them. Angelica Arroyo. Becca Ottman. Catherine Joan Bach. Melissa Bouch. Rylan Bistido. Brianna Bovia. Abigail Braun. Anna Baumgartner. Brianna Carpenter.
Brandon Dahl. Madison Davis. Megan Davis. Ali Dolan. Tanner Dufault. Sophia Faust. Grace Fenske. Thomas G. Hoover. Catherine Garrods. Grace Goldman. Anna Gronberg. Amanda Haley. Shelby Hall. Anna Hammer. Alexandra Yort. Hannah Kaltoff. Noah Kirsten. Holly Klein. Anna Kale. (laughs) 
Arya Kramarchuk. Molly Kirschke. Madeline Larkin. Laura Leonard. Haven Licht. Alexander Lucan. Cassie Manley. Sophia Marvin. Morgan Melander. Libby Moore. <coughs> Melissa Moy. Lisa Parr. <coughs> Jenna Paulson. Anna Prokosh. <laughs> Natalie Restifel. Riley Schneider. Emma Solheim.
Michaela Thompson. Shanna Voigt. Anthony Weber. Madeline Wiegman. Kayla Wesley. Caitlin Williams. Nursing graduates, you have completed the first phase in your lifelong journey. The profession you are about to enter is a remarkable one. We ask you to make a public commitment to the profession by reciting the nursing pledge found in your program. Graduates, please stand. The class has selected Thomas G. Hoover to lead the graduates in the pledge. Classmates to repeat after me. Or sorry, follow along with me. We, the 2021 graduates of the College of St. Benedict and St. John's University Department of Nursing, promise to uphold and promote the profession of nursing. We promise to strive for excellence in the areas of professionalism, quality, innovation, and leadership. We will embrace lifelong learning and provide quality and safe nursing care to achieve optimal outcomes for our patients. We promise to exemplify Benedictine values and ethical standards in our work with individuals, families, and communities. We will respect and value the diversity of the populations we serve and advocate to improve health care both locally and globally. We ask for the help of our family, friends, and colleagues in all of our endeavors. Class of 2021. You will forever hold a special place in our hearts and minds. We are honored to have traveled this journey with you, and we are very proud of you. We know that it has not been an easy journey, and we commend you on meeting the challenges presented by the global pandemic with grace and perseverance. 
We know that we can count on your leadership to shape the future of our profession and the health of our nation. Congratulations on a job well done and best wishes to you as you begin your journey. Thank you for coming tonight. We greatly appreciate your adherence to the campus COVID-19 policies, even as um, things are lifting within the community. Um, in order to exit the auditorium in the most efficient and safe manner, we'll be dismissing you by rows back to front. And when your row letter is called, please stand up and head to the nearest exit on your left or your right. And please maintain a social distance between groups. We ask that you pre proceed directly outside to the front of the building. And at this time, we will release rows R and T. Just one moment, please. We get to bless them as. May you be blessed with a spirit of compassion and a fervent caring. May you be blessed with a spirit of courage, daring to be who you are. May you be blessed with a spirit of openness, understanding, and respect. Amen.